Greek mythology is rich with tales of powerful weapons, each with its own unique story and abilities. Here are 10 of the most unique and famous weapons from Greek mythology. Number 10. Talaria. These are sandals used by Hermes. The most iconic feature of Hermes's sandals is the pair of wings attached to them. These wings are symbolizing speed and the ability to fly. According to myth, the sandals were crafted by the god Hephaestus, the divine smith, which adds to their magical and divine nature. The primary ability of the sandals is to grant Hermes the power of flight, allowing him to travel swiftly between the realms of gods and mortals. In addition to flight, the sandals also endowed Hermes with incredible speed on the ground, fitting for his role as the messenger of the gods. Hermes's role as the messenger required him to travel vast distances quickly, and the sandals were integral to this function. These sandals were part of the divine gifts that Perseus received to complete his task. Number 9. Cronus's Scythe This scythe represents Cronus's role as a harvester of the time and his association with agriculture and the passing of generations. This scythe or sickle is best known for its use by Cronus to overthrow his father, Uranus, the sky, and take his place as the ruler of the universe, a critical moment in Greek mythological history. The scythe or sickle is traditionally depicted as a long-handled curved blade. Its shape is emblematic of the agricultural sickle used in ancient times. Number 8. Achilles Spear Achilles used the spear extensively during the Trojan War. It was a key weapon in many of his battles and duels, including his famous confrontations with Hector and other Trojan heroes. The most significant attribute of Achilles' spear is its unbreakable nature. That spear was forged by the god Hephaestus. It was made from the wood of a fearsome ash tree from Mount Pelion. This particular wood was known for its strength and resilience, making the spear virtually unbreakable. The spear also plays a role in the narrative surrounding the death of Patroclus, Achilles' close friend and companion. Number 7. Athena's Aegis The Aegis is not a weapon in the conventional sense, but rather a protective item, typically depicted as a shield or a breastplate. One of the most distinctive features of the Aegis is the Gorgonaean, the head of Medusa, affixed to it. The presence of Medusa's head on the Aegis had the power to instill fear and awe in enemies, making it a psychological weapon as well. Athena wore the Aegis in her role as a warrior goddess, using it to protect herself and to strike fear into her enemies. It was a sign of her invincibility and strategic prowess in battle. In some myths, Zeus also uses the Aegis. He sometimes lends it to Athena or other gods as a sign of his ultimate authority and power. Number 6. Bows of Artemis and Apollo Apollo's bow is a significant symbol in Greek mythology, representing both the power and the diverse aspects of Apollo himself, who was the god of many domains including archery, music, medicine, and prophecy. It was likely made by Hephaestus, the god of blacksmiths and craftsmen. The bow symbolizes Apollo's dual nature as a bringer of both health and disease. In one famous myth, Apollo used his bow along with his twin sister Artemis to punish Niobe. Apollo used his bow to slay Python, a serpent or dragon that guarded the oracle at Delphi. In the epic tales of the Trojan War, Apollo used his arrows to inflict disease upon the Greek camp, demonstrating his ability to send plagues. Artemis' bow is a central symbol in Greek mythology, reflecting the character and domain of Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. Like Apollo's bow, Artemis' bow is traditionally depicted as a beautiful golden or silver bow crafted by the god Hephaestus, the smith of the gods. In a famous myth, the hunter Actaeon accidentally witnessed Artemis bathing. In response, Artemis used her bow to transform him into a stag, and he was subsequently killed by his own hunting dogs. There are various versions of the myth involving Orion's death, 
some of which describe Artemis accidentally killing him with her bow. Number 5. Hephaestus's Automatons Hephaestus, the god of blacksmiths, craftsmen, artisans, sculptors, metals, metallurgy, fire, and volcanoes in Greek mythology, is notably famous for his skill in creating various objects, weapons, and armor for the gods. Among his most fascinating creations are the automatons, mechanical devices or robots that exhibited intelligence and movement. For example, in the halls of Olympus, Hephaestus had golden tripods that could move on their own. These were used to serve the gods during feasts. He also created golden handmaidens that could assist him in his work. These handmaidens were capable of understanding and anticipating his needs. One of the most famous of Hephaestus' creations, Talos was a giant bronze automaton made to protect the island of Crete. Some myths mention that the gates of Olympus were automated, opening and closing for the gods without the need for gatekeepers. Number 4. Perseus Harp Perseus' harp is often depicted as a sword with a sickle protrusion along one edge, combining elements of a sword and a scythe. The harp's design with a curved blade was practical for the task of beheading Medusa, allowing Perseus to do so with a swift, clean strike. The harp is often considered a gift from Zeus or in other version from god Hermes, indicating divine intervention in Perseus' quest. While the specific material of the harp is not often detailed in myths, it was likely considered to be of divine or exceptional craftsmanship, possibly created by the god Hephaestus. Number 3. Hades' Helm of Darkness Hades' Helm of Darkness, also known as the Cap of Invisibility or Helmet of Darkness, is a significant and powerful object in Greek mythology. This magical item was associated with Hades, the god of the underworld and the dead. The Helm of Darkness had the unique ability to render its wearer invisible. The Helm of Darkness was likely crafted by the divine blacksmith Hephaestus, who created many of the god's magical items. While specific descriptions of its appearance vary, the helm was often imagined as a dark, possibly shadowy piece of headgear, fitting its function and association with the god of the underworld. Hades, the ruler of the underworld, used the helm to become invisible, helping him to effectively manage the dead and maintain order in his domain. It was also a symbol of his power and authority. In some versions of the myth of Perseus and Medusa, the hero was lent the Helm of Darkness by Hades, or, in some accounts, Athena, to help him defeat Medusa. Number 2. Poseidon's Trident Poseidon's Trident is one of the most iconic symbols in Greek mythology, associated with Poseidon, the god of the sea, earthquakes, storms, and horses. The trident is typically depicted as a long, three-pronged spear, its three points have been variably interpreted, with some suggesting they represent Poseidon's control over the seas, rivers, and lakes, or the sky, land, and sea. According to some myths, the trident was forged by the Cyclopes during the Titanomachy. With his trident, Poseidon could stir the waters and create storms and calm seas. He could also use it to cause earthquakes, earning him the epithet Earth Shaker. One myth suggests that Poseidon struck the ground with his trident, and the first horse, Scyphios, sprang forth. In a contest with Athena for the patronage of the city that would be Athens, Poseidon struck the Acropolis with his trident, creating a saltwater spring, offering the city water. Poseidon used his trident in various battles and conflicts among gods and between gods and mortals. Number 1. Zeus's Thunderbolt Zeus's thunderbolt, also known as the bolt or lightning bolt, is one of the most iconic and powerful symbols in Greek mythology. It's not just a weapon, but also a representation of Zeus's authority and might as the king of the gods. The thunderbolt was forged by the Cyclopes, the one-eyed giants, as a token of gratitude after Zeus freed them from Tartarus. The thunderbolts are often depicted as powerful, fiery spears of lightning, capable of immense destruction. They are typically illustrated as jagged, radiating light and energy. 
One of the most significant uses of Zeus's thunderbolts was during the Titanomachy, the epic battle between the Olympian gods and the Titans. In the Gigantomachy, the battle with the giants, Gigantes, Zeus used his thunderbolts to defeat these giants, who challenged the rule of the Olympian gods. Zeus frequently used his thunderbolts to punish mortals who displayed hubris, excessive pride, or self-confidence. In the epic of the Trojan War, Zeus occasionally used his thunderbolts to influence the events of the battle. In some versions of the myth, Phaethon, the son of Helios, the sun god, who lost control of the chariot of the sun, Zeus struck him down with a thunderbolt to save the earth from chaos. In the myth of Deucalion, Zeus used a thunderbolt to initiate the Great Flood, aiming to cleanse the world of human wickedness and start anew. Typhon was a fearsome monster who challenged Zeus's rule. Zeus used his thunderbolts to ultimately defeat Typhon, emphasizing his role as the supreme deity. Zeus also used his thunderbolts to control the weather, 